When the consistent cold of winter arrives in Colorado, those creepy, crawly insects and arachnids will start to disappear. So they're truly cold-blooded. And the colder it gets, the slower that they get to a point where they actually are not active. But most of them don't die. In fact, entomologist Robert Hancock at Metro State University yeah. says bugs have many amazing and interesting ways of surviving winter. So spiders and insects both can produce their own antifreeze chemistry to lower the freezing point of their body fluids. And that's crucial to survival. Some insects, like ladybugs, huddle together in vast numbers. Some migrate to a warmer climate and some lay eggs in the cold water underneath the ice. There's even a mosquito that lays eggs under the mountain snowpack. They call them snow melt mosquitoes. And in the spring, when the snow s slowly melts, it hatches their eggs and then they start their business. And Hancock says there are some bugs that are just like us. They go inside when it gets cold. And most often the ones that are coming into my house are earwigs and squash bugs and box elder bugs. Those are the big three that come into the Hancock house. And if you're hoping a really harsh winter might diminish the next generation of bugs next summer, think again. Hancock says insects are resilient. Take the mosquito for instance. Mosquitoes reproduce like weeds and they can bounce back with tremendous ferocity. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen for the Nine News Weather Impact Team.